So since you think that um, the wealthy, or maybe everyone, has a moral obligation to give back to society, um, one of the debates that came up in our class is whether society can just encourage the wealthy to give their money back, or whether it would be morally okay to have something like the government forcing the wealthy to give back, say, after they die. Um, what are your thoughts on that? I think that uh, I, I would tend to keep I would tend to keep the government out of it because by by definition then it will get political, right? So mm -hmm. and and I think the politics of giving is 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 a bit rocky and something I struggle with personally. So mm -hmm. I think that um I mean, I'm absolutely in favor of raising taxes on the wealthy and in that way contributing to government resources and and civil society development. But I think that uh, forcing like a, a like a philanthropy tax or something like that <coughs> on somebody's death, uh, I'm not sure that that would be an effective use of those dollars. Because would that person then, like, would the person be allowed to say where it goes to, or they would just have to give you know five percent or something to any charitable cause? I mean, you can set it up either way. We talked about both scenarios uh -huh. in class and whether one would be more acceptable than the other or whether neither is acceptable. What do you think? Um, I'm not a huge fan of the idea, mm -hmm. um, in part because I think it would be great if everybody, just everyone was giving. Um, but I don't think you can legislate people into being good people. Yeah. 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 I think, I think, that's, a good, I think that's a good point. It's, yeah, forcing somebody to have a belief that you want them to have, and that's yeah. not American. That's not how we do it, <laughs> right? <laughs> Supposedly. <laughs>